Hey, are you ready? I know I'm ready. Make sure you're ready. I'm definitely ready. All right, well, let's do this. Welcome to the channel. Brian the Divine Healer here, here. About to do your Cancer Leo Oracle message. So, chill out. Give me 10 minutes of your time. Maybe 15. And I have a very powerful message for you. Ooh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, so I'm using my Isis Oracle deck. Right? Let's lay your five cards down. Those five cards are called the Wing of Isis. Okay? Five cards. Random order. No specifics. You see how I'm doing it. Ooh, the Ankh. That's a good one. Ooh. The only thing I don't like right here, I see so far, every card is upright except for your abundance. <gasps> see the harvest? It's upside down. Okay. So, am I right? What does that say? Abundance. Shake your face. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let me get my glasses. In your face! So, this is the challenge card. Right? Not the challenge card. This is... Um, let me just read it. What is the real issue for me right now on a spiritual level? So, that is like the challenge. Okay? So, you had abundance. Abundance in many forms is increasing in flow to you. Continue your good work of building channels through which abundance can be delivered to you. Freely share your talents, love, wisdom, and self, and enjoy the abundance responsibly flowing through you and to you in many forms over and over again. Because that was in reverse, that is your problem. You're struggling with the abundance to come to you. It's not coming to you. You're not getting it. All right? So let's get to that second card. And the second card is, these are too damn small for me to even try to see. What? Okay, so the second card here is going to say, how can I best heal in my day-to-day -day life? This card is the miracle of Isis. Isis offers a, a miracle healing, no matter how much you have struggled with a particular matter. No matter how impossible it may seem to imagine your life without this old wound slash addiction slash problem slash relationship issue or inner struggle being part of it. You are guided now to accept the possibility of miraculous healing. Let go. And let the goddess be. <clears throat> well, I'm telling you. Oh, that took me out real quick. Get my sage going over there. Whew. So your struggle is to gain your abundance. Pulling it in, right? You're having difficulties with that, right? Reaping your harvest. So now when you have this card... The miracle. You have to trust to know that you're on a new path. You will be. Believe in miracles, my friend, because they happen. All right. Now, this is the Ankh, right? This is the mother of life. This is your third card. And it says, what will be the gift or outcome of this be? Of what? This miracle. Okay? This is how we're rolling, right? So, it says, Mother of Life, when life seems dry, depleted, filled with repetitive tasks, and simple, stagnant, and stifled, Isis, the Mother of Life, holds the ability to revive even the most numb. 
resistant and difficult circumstances in your life. She calls for you now, seeking to bestow gifts upon your life. So be brave and be bold. Open your arms to receive. There it is. This is making complete sense. Amazing. So you need to trust in this idea. It's like it's imperative for you to believe in miracles because that is part of that healing process. When you believe, it comes true. So if you believe that you you don't deserve anything, you, you, you know, all the hard work that you're doing, it's just what you're getting is what you deserve, that's wrong. The same. Here's your fourth card. Your fourth card says, what is the biggest challenge or opportunity for me to get to the best outcome? And right here, the key of life, the onk. Again, back to back now. The onk portends new life being born through you now. This new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life, bringing you more into wholeness and fulfillment. Do not give up on your creative destiny. Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction. You have spiritual support from the unseen worlds. Let it happen. This is just so self-explanatory. I mean, seriously, this is definitely guiding in the right path to know that there is more to your life as far as this harvest when all you have to do is believe and that will bring in the healing for you and everything just unfolds from there it's crazy all right so here's your last card what special guidance is there to help me resolve this the best way now this is your intuition card when you are being initiated into the divine masteries of light love and power there are moments of profound challenges the key is to find the light within the challenge the opportunity for growth that can transform my challenge is an experience of healing more healing with compassion and cleverness you will not burn during your challenges you will thrive we know what your challenge is and that's the first card the last card is your intuition I've been talking this the whole time. Your intuition is going to tell you that you know you're worth more, you deserve more. There is more to you in this life. You have to trust and open yourself up with your intuition to trust that when you believe there is more, that will come and that is the healing. So remember that these things are coming to you, but they won't if you don't see them or feel them. I really think feel them more than see them. Because a lot of people are like seeing as believing, right? Well, there's some shit that you, you, you couldn't see and it happened, right? So that makes a difference. And there's all part of your intuition. So trust that there is a bigger life for you, a better life for you, my friends. Just allow that to happen in your mind's eye and in your heart trust your intuition that you will have the life that you want the harvest that you deserve the seeds that you've planted already but you're quite not so get there my friends it won't be long hope you enjoyed your oracle reading that was like fantastically Ooh, gave me a little bit of chills <laughs> there you go you like the 28 degrees outside today no but hey that's what it is okay so be brave my friends be blessed to be well i'll definitely see you again